everybody today we're going to cover the arrival of the fifth angel so let's jump right into this this can be found by clicking your little evangelion task area and you'll see right at the top fifth angel identified uh, once you click on that it'll make you watch a little cutscene. if you guys didn't know the replay button right here you can go watch those cutscenes again if you're ever interested and once you click into it you'll see this screen very similar to the fourth angel just updated with the fifth angel uh, up in the top right corner here, you will see that there is an all rewards button. If you click on that, you'll see your stage rewards for your server. So once you hit that, you've taken down 20% health, 50 and 100%. You will have this. Uh, you only have till the end of the day. So the, this stage lasts for four days. So you only have till the end of that fourth day to get these rewards. Otherwise, you will not get them as a server. And then your goals are yours personal. So this one is 3, 10, 30, and 50 attacks. I believe that's the same as what it was for the fourth angel. And then make sure you unlock your privilege to get the additional rewards there. So to get a power boost for this one, so that power boost button, make sure you read these. Even if you don't watch my videos beforehand, read these. Send an evil pilot in battle to get the following privilege. So it ignores the fifth angel's damage boost effect, and each attack decreases the damage boost effect of the fifth angel by 0.05%. So that damage boost is what this current attack strength is. So you want to keep using Shinji to remove that. Um, I'll give you some logic for the, of that in a second here once we show you attacks. So I've been experimenting with attacks, and these are all various different things. You'll see those 104T, 125T. That's just sending my regular PvP or my regular world boss. So this one is PvP. This one's my regular world boss. These other ones are when I send my PV, these ones here are PVP. And then these other two that are the higher ones are my PVE. So what that means is you're going to send PVE March. And I'm going to quick switch over to the right comps. And you're going to want to send, oops, I messed up already. You want to make sure you're sending Shinji. Uh, without him, you will get destroyed very quickly. Um, by no means my weak account, by no means my whale account. But I, he, I've been getting off seven tile. I got off seven tiles attacks in the two attacks where I sent PVP comps or PVE comps with my regular march without Shinji. Once you have Shinji, I've technically won every fight. Even though you don't kill him, you last through the fifteen rounds. So uh, you'll see this attack right here is going to be a pve comp so we're going to go and look in here for it as it pops up Oop. so that is that top one right here uh it, a lot of it's going to depend on how much damage the fifth angel does so he does do damage to you and you will see that there are your red repair signs usually meaning your troops are going to get demoted or there's that chance don't worry about that because it doesn't do that it's kind of like a temporary troops or whatever you want to call it kind of like odin where your troops die but they don't really die uh, that's kind of an important thing to realize is make sure you're sending your valhallas they'll do a lot more damage than your regular 81s uh, i don't have 82s to test but i feel like 82s might actually do more damage than certain valhallas and then i do have a second thing and this i can't test obviously until this current attack strength is below zero I feel like once that's below zero, it might make more sense to send your regular world boss or sand table march without Shinji, just because he might not, he won't be doing that additional damage. So basically it'll be a level playing field. But again, I can't test that until that's gone. And I want to get this out to you guys right away. Uh, easy way to test this is just send one march with Shinji again, and then one march with your regular sand table march. And you'll be able to tell which one does more damage by clicking this little icon right here that shows you your battle reports and you'll be able to tell which one uh it, it as you can see it's pretty obvious when you're using the right lineup of what you need to do so with that that's kind of all i have to cover today uh please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content and see ya